How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing another uh, what if, but this time we're going to be looking at all time rosters. So what if we put all those, you know, all players throughout history and we came up with an all time roster for each team and see who would come up on top. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know if we missed out on some players, if there were some players you enjoyed watching growing up, why you enjoyed watching them growing up. And of course, in the description, there's also all my social media links. I'll probably be streaming a little bit later tonight. Uh, lately, we've been doing some rebuilds um, uh, over on Twitch. So if you guys want to go and give that Twitch channel a follow, go ahead. So like I said, we're going to be doing an all time roster. We usually go with the Cubs. That's just because that's my that's my team you know it's that's the team, that's what the team i have to do right so let's take a look at the all-time roster so of course there's usually some changes that the cpu does but let's let's just take a look at some of the main teams um see how things are and as you guys can see here's the cubs you know players like andre dawson sammy sosa ernie banks even soriano made the cut um which is kind of cool to see but let's see what else we got for the reds you know barry larkin Tony Perez, Johnny Bench. All right, we have Pete Rose over here, Ken Griffey Jr. Um, there are some repeat players, um, which you'll see a little bit later. Paul Molitor, you got Yount, Prince Fielder. Okay, I haven't thought about that name in a bit. Um, who else, who else? Let's see, next team, you got Honus Wagner, Ralph Kiner, Willie Stargell, um, even Barry Bonds made the cut. Because if you didn't know, Barry Bonds actually was on the Pirates before the Giants. And he was like a 30-30 player, 30 homers, 30 steals. He was a beast even before he went to the Giants. Ozzie Smith on the Cardinals. You have Pujols, Rogers, Hornsby, Edmonds, Scott Rowland, um, Mark McGuire on the bench. Um, let's see who else. Goldschmidt, Finley. Um, you know, the, the Diamondbacks kind of feel like they're they're missing, a, you know, like a, a, a franchise name. You know, obviously with pitching, they've had some but like actual fielders, some batters feel like there's a couple, like they need somebody, right? Um, Larry Walker, Dante Bichette, Todd Helton. Oof. Um, you got Vinny Castilla. Let's see who else. Ja Jackie Robinson for the Dodgers. Eddie Murray, Mike Piazza, uh, Pee Wee Reese. Okay. Roberto Alomar, Tony Gwynn, Fred McGriff, Benito Santiago. Moving into the Giants, obviously Billy, May uh, Billy Mays. Oof. Willie Mays, Perry Bonds, Willie McCovey. Um, so some solid names there. The Orioles, Brian Roberts, Ripken Jr., Frank Robinson, uh, Manny Machado before he left. The Red Sox, Red Sox and Yankees, you definitely have some players for sure. Wade Box, Ted Williams, Jimmy Fox, Manny Ramirez, the free swinger, even Nomar Garcia Parra, one of my favorite players to watch growing up. Uh, Derek Jeter, Joe DiMaggio, Babe Ruth. Reggie Jackson, uh, Cano, Alex Rodriguez. Um, oh, they even threw Aaron Judge on here. Okay, Jorge Posada on the bench. The Rays, kind of a newer team, but you know they still have some decent names here. Carl Crawford, Julio Lugo, Aubrey Huff, McGriff. Um, some current players still, Longoria, Zobris, Ramos, Avisel Garcia, Corey Dickerson. Um, so, okay. Um, moving into the Blue Jays, uh, Alomar. Roberto Alomar, Jose Bautista, Sean Green, McGriff again, Joe, Joe, Josh Donaldson, Joe Carter, Carlos Delgado. Um, some names I haven't even thought about in a long while. Jermaine Dye, uh, Frank Thomas, Paul Conurco, Maglio Ordonez. I remember watching him growing up. Mini Minoso. Um, what else? We got Manny Ramirez again. Jim Tomey, Larry Doby, Albert Bell. Jose Ramirez is making the cut. Lindor is making the cut. You got Vizquel. Lofton, all right, some some pretty pretty interesting names. Miguel Cabrera, Ty Cobb, Al Kaline. Who else for the Tigers? Cecil Fielder, Alan Trammell, Royals. You got Johnny Damon, Carlos Beltran, Eric Hosmer, Whit Merrifield, Salvi, Lorenzo Kane. Um, some of those names from their most recent World Series in 2015. And then you're looking at the Twins: Rod Carew, Molitor, Killebrew, Morneau, Tory Hunter, Joe Mauer, Kirby Puckett on the bench. Um, Angels, Erstead, Guerrero, Trout. Obviously, Trout's going to be considered one of the all-time greats for the Angels. Don Baylor, 
on the bench you got benji molina you got simmons troy glouse tory hunter for the a's you know solid solid names ricky henderson giambi jose canseco uh, mark mcguire as well miguel tejada um the mariners ichiro a rod ken griffey jr brett boone jay buner raul ibanez um zunino ian kinsler for the rangers along with pudge a rod josh hamilton rafael palmero mark Teixeira. okay i haven't thought about that name in a while mark Teixeira. the, a the astros biggio bagwell berkman um Cedeno, brad osmus the Braves, you got Rafael for call, David Justice, I haven't, I, pff, I forgot about him, Chipper Jones, Henry Aaron, uh, obviously Hank, you know, we all know that, Eddie Matthews, Fred McGriff, Brian McCann, Andrew Jones, okay, what else we got, the Marlins, you got Juan Pierre, Luis Castillo, Miguel Cabrera, Stanton, Cliff Floyd, Derek Lee, I remember when he came to the Cubs, Gary Sheffield, Pudge, looking at the Nationals, you got Vlad, obviously, when he played for the Expos, Larry Walker, Andre Dawson, Gary Carter, um, the Mets, Jose Reyes, Mike Piazza, Keith Hernandez, Beltran, Daryl Strawberry. Um, let's see, anybody else? for the? Let's move on to the Phillies. We got Ryan Howard, Mike Schmidt, Ashburn, um, Jimmy Rollins, Lenny Dykstra. And then we're back to the Cubs. We'll quickly go through the pitching rotation. Um, when you look at the Cubs, Pryor, Maddox, Fergie Jenkins, Zambrano, and Kerry Wood. You guys can see some of the relievers there. Um, mostly going to focus on starters. Um, the, the Reds, I don't know too much about their starters. But um, the name I know from the bullpen is Dibble. Moving into the Brewers, it's kind of the same situation. I feel like the Bre you got Raleigh Fingers, but Brewers kind of quiet with starters, right? Um, Pirates, kind of similar situation. Uh, you got Bob Gibson, Dizzy Dean, Adam Wainwright, Chris Carpenter, Rick Ankeel. I remember when he moved to the outfield, the dude had a cannon. Diamondbacks, Randy Johnson, Schilling, Brandon Webb, Patrick Corbin, Dan Heron. All right. Um, for the Rockies, Hampton, Francis. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised they don't have like, um, who was it? Uh, he was a submarine thrower. Young Hugh Kim. I believe his name was. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't have him there. Oral Hershiser, Sutton, Koufax, Valenzuela, um, pff, Eric Gagne in the pen. You got Jake Peavy, um, Eric Snow in the pen. You got Hoffman, Rob Nen for the Giants. You got Matthewson, Marischal, Lincecum, the freak. Moving into the Orioles, Mike Mussina, Jim Palmer, um, Darren O'Day, Zach Britton for the Red Sox, Pedro Martinez. What, what, a, like watching him. Unreal. Cy Young, uh, Roger Clemens, same thing. John Lester. You have Kurt Schilling, Babe Ruth, um, Keith Folk, Yankees, Whitey Ford, Guidry, Lefty Gomez, Roger Clemens, Mariano Rivera. You got Goose Gossage, uh, the Rays, James Shields, Blake Snell, Archer. So kind of newer guys. Um, but for the Rays, you're going to have newer guys. It's a newer franchise. You have Roy Holiday for the Blue Jays, Roger Clemens, David Wells which is insane. Um, Mark Burley for the White Sox, Tommy John as well. The Indians, Bob Feller, Mel Harder, um, Phil Necro. Oh man, Phil Necro. Looking at the, the Tigers, Neuhauser, um, Jake Morris, Verlander. Moving into the Royals, you got Zach Greinke, David Cohn, Saber Hagen, the Twins, Bly Levin, who else? Johan Santana. That's the name I remember. Latroy Hawkins. Oh man, when he came to the Cubs, that was it was you know bad things were gonna happen when he started pitching. Nolan Ryan, Bartolo Colon for the Angels, Fida Blue, Mike Mol Mark Mulder, not Mike, Catfish Hunter, Barry Zito. Man, this guy like for a lefty was nasty. Tim Hudson, um, Felix Hernandez, Randy Johnson, Jamie Moyer. Dude pitched till he was like almost 50. It's unreal. Um, Nolan Ryan, Kenny Rogers. You got you, you Darvish, Mike Scott, Roy Oswalt, Billy Wagner in the bullpen for the Astros. Greg Maddox, Spawn, John Smoltz. He was lights out. Tom Glavin, Phil Negro. You got Kimbrell in the, the bullpen. Then looking at the Marlins, you got Jose Fernandez. So some pretty interesting names. I'm trying to quickly go through it. Pedro Martinez again. 
um, see if any other names stick out for me. Tom Seaver, David Cohn as well. You got Roy Holiday as well. Cliff Lee, Pat Neshek in the bullpen still. And then obviously you probably saw some players who got uh, put onto waivers. So, so those are the rosters for each team. Obviously there are some names that, you know, probably weren't featured. Um, like I didn't see a David Ortiz for the Red Sox. Um, I didn't see, um, it, it did say John Lester for the Cubs. Like even though he's been there for a couple of seasons, he's easily one of the better pitcher. Um, but some players obviously just didn't make the cut. They're trying to pick the best of the best. So let me know some players that you thought should have been in the lineups and didn't make it or who were some players that you enjoyed watching and so for this we're just we're just gonna sim through a season see how things go and see who who comes out on top who you know becomes a league leader and stuff like that we're just gonna let everything go all right so looking at the standings for every team you see the cardinals take the central um the west were taken by the dodgers the wild card was the phillies and the cubs um, pretty close between those two and then the Braves were right behind them. The East went to the Nationals by five games. The American League Wild Card went to the Red Sox and the Twins. And then the West went to the Athletics. The Central went to the Indians and the East went to the Yankees. So, you know, kind of expected for most most of them. Because um, when you think about the teams and like past players, it's pretty crazy to think about. Let's see what... Like batting averages and stuff like that. So Mark Race, you know, okay, took the batting average for the National League. For American League, it was Wade Bogues. Um, hits for Jeter and Mark Race. Trey Turner for at-bats and Brian Roberts. Reggie Jackson for doubles. Richie Ashburn, okay, triples. All right, home runs. Reggie Jackson had the most in the American League. And Mike Schmidt had the most in the National League. Willie Mays right behind him as well. Um, RBIs, Schmidt and Jackson. Trip. Oh, no, runs. Okay, Reggie Jackson was just all over the place, it seems like. Stolen bases, I want to see that again. 59 and 54. I'm surprised. I was going to say, I'm surprised Ricky Henderson wasn't up there, but there he is. Number two. All right, walks, on base percentage, slugging percentage. Um, we'll take on base percentage. All right, slugging percentage, OPS. Wins, Jack Morris and Pedro, um, the National League. Bob Gibson for the Amer or the. I flipped them. Pedro Martinez for the American League. National League, Bob Gibson. Losses were pretty low as well. Bartolo Colon. All right. All right. Big Sexy making an appearance there. Saves. There we are. Um, ERA. Some pretty low ones there. And then I think that's that's it. Yeah. I mean, pretty standard stuff. Looking at awards. MVP for Mike Schmidt and Reggie Jackson, who was a DH. But... All right, I mean, can't complain about that. Pedro Martinez for the Cy Young along with Bob Gibson. Batting title went to Mark Grace and Wade Boggs. Reliever of the year, Dennis Eckersley and Lee Smith. Rookie of the year, I'm not going to pay too much attention to, but it's pretty interesting to see how things played out so far. So let's, let's see if we can get into the first round. Obviously, Cubs have been eliminated, but that's not what I'm trying to pay attention to. You know, you can see the playoff bracket here. Um, Minnesota and Boston haven't played yet. There we go. Boston won. So you got the Boston Red Sox versus the Yankees. You got the A's versus the Indians, Dodgers and Nationals slash Expos. And then you have Philly and St. Louis. So let's like skip ahead a couple days. See if we got anyone advancing yet. No, not yet. What about now? So American League, you got the Athletics versus the Yankees. And we're still trying to figure out the National League side. It's looking like the Dodgers and the Cardinals. All right, so let's let's move ahead a little bit more. All right, getting closer, getting closer. Okay, okay, still still not there. All right, it's gonna be the Cardinals versus the Yankees in the World Series. So let's just advance a day until we get to the. So the Yankees take game one and two. Game three to the Cardinals. They've evened it up. And the Yankees won game th five. So game six hasn't been played yet. And the Yankees won. So let's take a look at their lineup again. Let's see what, what they had going for them. So Jeter, DiMaggio, Babe Ruth, Reggie Jackson, Luke Gehrig, Robinson Cano, Aaron Judge, A-Rod, and Yogi. Okay. 
Madden Lee, Posada, Mantle, and Elston Howard on the bench. So they played the Cardinals. Let's take a look at their team. Um, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? There they are. So the Cardinals, Ozzy Smith, Joe Medwick, Rogers Hornsby, Albert Pujols, Stan Musial, Jim Edmonds, Orlando Cepeda, Scott Rowland, and Yachty. And then you guys can see their bench here. Pretty quiet, pretty quiet. But overall, pretty interesting to see how how this played out. You know, there's definitely some interesting names. You know, like Rick and I kind of remember him more as an outfielder, but that was just that's just me. Um, he definitely had a couple seasons where he was an absolute like he was a solid pitcher. You know, he was. But I just kind of remember more as an outfielder. So you guys can see the team for the Yankees, the pitching for the Yankees, I should say, and uh, pretty interesting names there. So that's about it for this what if. What if we you know, looked at the all-time rosters for each team? What would happen? Who would win? Who would win certain awards? Who would win you know, the World Series? That's kind of the big question. What would happen? Who would play out to be the World Series champion? You guys can see it's kind of the Yankees, which I mean, when you think about it, they're one of the oldest franchises in MLB history. They're going to have that that history behind them so it's it's kind of cool to see how this played out kind of cool to see some of the names that that were involved so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you hit the like button down down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and i'll catch you all in the next video peace